Sorry about that. <laughs> I've been th uh, changing things around. Thanks for the info. So we're starting a new game, uh, Banished, using the Colonial Charter mod. Uh, adds a ton of new buildings and professions uh, to increase the uh, playability of the game. Uh, it's the only mod I have right now. I almost downloaded one which gave us a huge map size, but large is fair enough. Uh, we'll go with the fair climate, uh, disasters on, starting conditions hard, so the only thing we have now is, let's take a random map, uh, we've got valleys and mountains, uh, I should have downloaded the mod, maybe there's like five or six different uh, terrain types, but we'll go with this, we'll go with the valleys I think. Uh, and we only begin with four families, so we're going to be starting out slow. And I said, I, this is going to be a new series that I, I do uh, a couple hours a week, and it'll be thrown up on YouTube as well as a series. Uh, as with all of uh, the games of this type, it's going to uh, start out slow, obviously. We only have a few families. Hopefully we have a good starting location. And um, we won't be able to get into any of the actual colonial, uh, the new new buildings for a little bit probably be a couple sessions in. Okay, so let's pause it. Okay, we got a nice flat area. We're right next to the main river and a fair couple fair-sized lakes as well. Uh, let's pop up my normal menus here. Uh, we'll keep that in that corner. The event log I like up to see what's going on. The mini map. Okay, so we're in the kind of the center of the map right now. Uh, I said good starting point. It's got a couple big lakes around and the main river running through so our trader will come through here once we get to that point. Uh, over here we can see the professions here and some of the things that were added silk farmer, bootlegger, vintner, uh, curer, sailor, ale wench, roper, uh, sugar boiler, presser, shoreman. It's like tripled the number of professions. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. We'll get get them as we uh, make fuel from a range of organic products. Okay, um, so there's our professions, uh, and we'll keep the limits up as well. Uh, let's see. Other than food, which let's put a nice large number in there so we don't max those out early on with just a few families. I keep some of these limits down low so that they go back to uh, laborers when I have a decent s s stock of the materials. Okay, uh, we got plenty of stone iron uh, right locally, so that's good. Uh, what I think we'll end up doing, looks like it's flat on this side too, so we've got a lot of room to expand. I think uh, what we'll do is we'll expand our primary village down to the south and east. Uh, we'll probably cross as soon as possible and use this area here for our primary wood uh, uh, production, I think. Um, or maybe we will go, let's see, I don't know where I'll put my farms in that case. Maybe we'll keep that for the farmland off to the west across the river and uh, around these mountains here put our forestry and uh, that type of stuff. I think that's a plan. Uh, starting out we need ourselves a stockpile and there's special, there, there's more stockpiles. You got the barn, uh, the normal stockpile, then there's specialty stockpiles where you can put just wood, just firewood, just stone, just iron, and just coal. We're going to go with the standard stockpile. No specialty stockpile. Uh, and we'll put it here close to the river. We'll make it a moderate size there. Uh, then we also have the uh, market obviously is that old. The trading post is old. Dry storage for your textiles and uh, rope and things like that when we get to that point. A bank barn you build into the side of a hill here and it's got a huge storage capacity compared to the normal barn. A grain silo just for grain and root cellar for roots and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Uh, so we've got our stockpile here. Let's clear. I'm not going to bother clearing too much here. Let's just get some wood 
from these trees up here. We'll get those taken down. We'll get ourselves our basic stone here, enough to get started. And same thing with iron. And we'll go ahead and on pause. We'll go ahead and get our house started right away. I'm going to build two at a time. And there are more houses. You've got the basic wooden stone. Uh, later on, we'll be able to, when we get rope, we'll be able to build colonial houses for a family of five, colonial manors for a family of eight, and and then the boarding house is old as well. So, a couple new house types. And just for this, I normally don't go at a high speed on these, especially uh, starting out as I micromanaging everything with the few number of uh, families we have to mess with. We'll go ahead and do this. They're starting to, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and wait till the materials are in both houses and we will then assign two builders and like I said we're gonna build our forestry out here so we'll build a house over here a house or two over here as well I'll need a barn probably wait till I actually get the uh, the uh, gatherer uh, up gonna want a gatherer right away it's, I'm not as worried about the forestry yet uh, once I get all the houses built then we'll worry about that. Let's see, guys, start putting things in the houses here. Let's go ahead and prioritize those so that we, at least some of the labor start moving materials over. And there they go, starting to, to bring the materials over for the house. Yeah, hello there, welcome. brand new uh, series uh, for those that actually catch us on YouTube later this is being streamed live as well so you'll hear me making comments to an audience or answering questions okay let's go ahead and prioritize this one so we get that one started and we'll go ahead and get our first two builders here I think the next thing I'm going to do is build a barn. We've still got four seasons before we have to worry about the uh, housing. Uh, we know we're going to have uh, one, maybe two houses over here as well. Since the gatherer is going to be over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my barn right in between the primary settlement and the hunter gather area over here. So I'll go ahead and get one of these started. Yeah, let's see if I am having a road go across then probably right there and we're gonna need more wood to do that we'll be wanting a uh, wood chopper here soon too a uh, woodcutter I mean okay we got our first house with a family of four moved in and taking all the food and firewood 278 potatoes right out the, off the bat. There's only 1,200 potatoes total. So once the barn is done, we'll move over here. We'll throw a gatherer down and uh, one house over here. That will take care of two gatherers. And we're out of firewood. They took all the firewood. So we're going to need one of those as well. I think basic industry will be in this area as well. So the uh, weaver, the woodcutter, the uh, blacksmith will all be in this area as well. And obviously, uh, fisher hut up here on the lake would be perfect. Huge area there to fish in. Okay, they're starting to move materials over. Uh, what's our stone supply is low, so let's grab those stones as well got plenty of iron for now. Two builders is plenty. The builders will act as basic laborers when they're not actually building. 
still only in spring, so we've got plenty of time to get the rest of the houses and f uh, the houses and the woodcutter and the gatherer. We need one of e uh, two houses, one woodcutter, one gatherer's hut uh, before winter. And we've got a new laborer. One of the children grew up already. That was quick. see what's going on here we're still waiting for some stone which it looks like is being carried over now uh, so let's go ahead and build a house that will be for that and the gatherers hut food production now you can see here uh, some of this crop fields are the same, although there's a lot more crops and orchards. Uh, there's more pa uh, cho choices for pastures as well. Fishing dock hasn't changed. Water mill is new for making grain, as is the windmill. Uh, the hunting cabin isn't hasn't changed. The uh, gatherer's hut obviously hasn't changed. keep it as a relatively straight shot across there. So all the materials are here now. We're going to need more stone still. There's more stone here so we'll take some of this. And the builders should get uh, busy here momentarily on the barn. Late spring Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, we know. Okay, who's bringing wood here? Do we not have... Oh, we don't have any more wood. Oops. Let's get those trees knocked out of the way because we'll eventually be building either a... probably the uh, barn uh, into the side of the hill there. The... Uh, b -b what is it? The bank barn would be good into the side of the hill there. We've got a couple places where we could potentially put an iron and coal mine right nearby. Looks like a pretty good starting area. Okay, and they're clearing out that area. Probably should build a stockpile right here locally as well. Uh, we'll make it just a wood stockpile for uh, where, where they're chopping down these trees here. They can just drop the wood right there. Eventually we can consolidate the stockpiles, but that'll make give less travel time there between uh, these areas and the buildings that they're making. Okay, uh, we're still short logs here. Uh, come on, get some logs over there. Guess we can prioritize it. Okay, we just hit early summer. Our first season is come and gone. Starting to feel just the slightest bit of a crunch here. We still don't have our food. Our storage should be getting built here momentarily. It looks like the wooden house, the third house, is uh, getting started as well. So we need our builder. Where's our builder? Picking up resources. Why are you picking up resources? Picking up resources. Go build. You're supposed to be a builder. Let's add one more builder then. Since we've got an extra child grown up. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's what. They hadn't had all of the, the materials there yet. That's why they weren't building. And we've got a shortage of logs. Yeah, we know that. Get these out of the way. That'll give the, keep the laborers busy. They're starting to bring logs over to this area. That'll leave this area to go. They've already started bringing materials over to that as well. Stone's going over there. We have enough stone. Uh, we've got all the stone we need there. And yeah, we've got enough stone for all the buildings that we've got started now. So we'll need one more house and a woodcutter now.
between now and the end of the first, preferably by the end of the first autumn. I think the woodcutter is going to be next as well. And I think the woodcutter is going to maybe stay near the main stockpile. So we'll go ahead and start that. So that'll clear up so, or give us some more logs, more logs going into the thing now. Where's all our builders? Oh, builders are building. Okay, good. So the barn's almost complete. Once the barn is done, we can uh, deconstruct the wagon because we're going to want that space here eventually. But I'm going to wait to deconstruct it until I have all, our, all my base buildings done. So in addition, some of the new buildings here uh, blacksmith tailor that's all new the bundling shed is new uh, that's another way to get fire uh, fuel for your fire shore house for um, uh, glass works and you can also find frogs and turtles which I presume are food uh, chandelier for uh, making candles don't know exactly what candles are used for obviously selling I don't know if they increase happiness possibly or I don't know maybe they provide a little extra warmth in the house I'm not sure uh, glass works for uh, turning sand into glass. Uh, mulberry grove for uh, harvesting uh, mulberry leaves for silk production. The ropery, which we need ropes for several of the advanced buildings. Silkworm hut for uh, growing silkworms for making silk, obviously. Weavers uh, for uh, flax, cotton, and silkworm production. And then the mine and the quarry's not changed. And our barn is almost done the building, the house is ready to be built and we're still hauling materials. We've almost got all our materials over here for the gatherers hut so our food production will start here shortly. Probably have two gatherers to start because once the fourth house is done all of our food will be gone so we want the food production to start first. I'm also going to want a road eventually going out there as well. Um, let's see, what else? Until, okay, we've we've got our woodcutter started as well. Most of the materials are over there. We're going to need some more wood for the uh, chopping. So let's grab a little bit more of the trees out here maybe. Keep those laborers busy. Okay, we've got our, our third house. So we're, we've got down to one homeless family, and the uh, gatherer's hut has started. It's almost done, actually. Wow, those builders got right on that. So I'm going to go ahead as, and assign two gatherers right away. Uh, theoretically, these two here will become gatherers, uh, although I'll probably build my fourth house right along here as well. Obviously, the hunting hut will go up here shortly as well. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves two gatherers. We can do it a couple different ways. I'll do it right here. So our food production will start now. We're down to 96 food. We've got no firewood, which we've got that production starting too here. We're going to go ahead and keep the builders uh, here. I'm going to take one builder away. I don't need three building a road right now. All we have left is the are these the builders here, I hope, going over there? Yes. Okay, builders are going to go finish the wood cutters. I'd rather them do that than um, build a road. Okay, trees down. We've got a whole bunch of iron and stone on the ground still. Let's clear some of this area here. because uh, blacksmith will probably be next up with us having 10 tools left at the moment after we build our fourth house. Uh, maybe rather than a blacksmith I'll put the hunter's lodge up so we can start getting leather stored up. I don't generally worry about building the coats quite this early. Uh, 
the, the workers are a little less productive without the coats because they're going back to get warm but if I keep things local to their job then they shouldn't have as much travel time and that's the plan here yeah. general labors okay the gatherers are of course as far away as possible so we'll build our fourth house right next to the gatherers hut here I want to wait until we actually have uh, production because right now there's no food and for the early stages of this I like keeping these open so I can kind of gauge the uh, food production versus consumption here so you'll see me have a few uh, resource gathering windows open here on the left side fisher huts and gas gathers and the hunters lodge just so I can gauge production okay so we've got a nice clear area here for our town center uh, fishing nice area for a fishing lodge there Let's go ahead and we're going to move that up there. I could build a road across that way as well. I'm not going to bother actually building that all out. Let's see, the woodcutter needs that so we'll do that and we'll also get a chunk of wood here for him to use so that will take care of that we still have one house without firewood what's our uh, firewood limit fuel limit is 100 I don't really need that much let's go 60 that way the fire the woodcutter becomes a standard labor when he's not chopping wood so okay our builders moved up there now our laborers are over there so are these our gatherers good our gatherers move closer to the gatherers hut that's what I wanted uh, so with that in mind since the fisher fisher hut maybe is next what is more important at this point probably more food so we will go ahead and it's early autumn already. Let's build our last house. And we'll build it close to where the fisher's hut will be. Let's see if I can. One, two, three. Okay, we'll build the fisher's hut there, and then we'll have the uh, fishing pier right off here on the lake where there's this whole huge area to catch fish in. Okay, that gets us our basics. Let's see, we're starting to produce firewood and food. Good. Because uh, this last house... Now, my, my last attempt at this, uh, I went through a die-off in year three because I think I put one too many houses up early and did and everybody was grabbing the food and the one house that needed food couldn't get any so I'm gonna be careful about that this time around and make sure I have a s surplus of uh, food production before I build my fifth house because we already have an extra adult here uh, one male adult extra and, and one female so we actually have an extra family pairing I could build a fifth house right now but I don't have the food or firewood to sustain it so for this initial bit and I, that wood stockpile wasn't used at all over there. Oh, well, maybe when I build the forestry forestry service out here, they'll uh, make use of it. Okay, the house is going up. We've got builders, so they should go build it. Let's get the fishing hut up. Where's the best spot? Or is it going to get the most uh, catchment area? Probably right there. So once that is done... We've got our last family moving in. We've got a low on logs again. Really? Okay, that's fine. I don't need these trees up here. Oops. Let's 
get rid of those and all this iron and stone over here can go away as well it's just stuff in the middle of my town right now so we'll clear this entire area out so our, our primary growth initially is going to be up toward the north as uh, for the moment Yeah, this is a good place for a forestry and a hunter here. More food and uh, the leather income, of obviously, for the coats. Starting to get our materials over there. We're out of wood. Uh, we got a good supply of firewood, though. That's exactly what I was looking for. 60-ish for now is enough for four houses for a, for a year. Uh, because once it drops below that, below that 60, he'll uh, produce more. That's fine. Almost got everything out to the fishers as well. Um, two gatherers, one woodcutter right now. Two builders. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, four laborers. Yep. We still have. We have. Oh, wait. What's going on here? We have two without a house still? Oh, I'm going to have to build a fifth house because. Uh, Somebody grew up before uh, the houses were done, and they won't move in with anybody. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Well, I've got food, I've got firewood, I guess I can build a fifth house. Let's make sure I have some more, uh, let's get the Fisher Hut done. Of course, it is late autumn, I can't wait too long. Nope, can't wait. thought I would uh, have time before that happened, but we've got to put our fifth house down or risk losing somebody already. Okay, and all our, we have no food right now. Uh, we have firewood though, so that is good. We'll take, uh, uh, what happened? Uh, died of starvation. Already? And died during childbirth. Oh my god, we're already dying off left and right. Uh, now I don't need that house, do I? I guess I do need that house. Why do I need that house? Got a male. And unattached male. Really? So we've already had two deaths, and the year isn't, first year isn't over. We had two births. Two deaths and two births. Well, that hurts. I'm gonna need two builders. It's autumn already as well. Let's uh let's prioritize the house, I guess. Unfortunately. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna lose another two here probably. We have no food. Where's, what's my gatherers doing? Get me some food. Gatherers. Where's my gatherers? Okay, there's some food. Okay, we got food. Good. Good, good, good. Get this house built before everybody steals all the food and we're okay. We'll, we'll live with these last. Logs are low. Yeah, that's fine. We still have trees being cut. Uh, I don't have enough logs to actually finish the building though. Let's get some of these logs nearby cut down. Okay, we've got all the logs we need. We've got stone here. Build. Uh, and that house is out of food. Somebody stole all the food and there's still a house that needs food that will need food when it's once it's built. Oh, this is going to be ugly. We're going to have a die out. I didn't have okay my my calling didn't happen until year three in my last game and it was a worse start because I had to travel half the map before I found the place I wanted to actually settle uh, okay 
You guys, no. Stop building road. Go build house. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Who's, who's, who's getting rock here to build this house? I prioritized that. You should be building that. Somebody take the stone to the house. We got food. There we go. Nope. They took one stone. Really? What are you doing? Carrying food? Yeah, you're carrying food to the house. So the house will... Hopefully you're taking it to the house that needs it, not the house that doesn't need it. Yeah, okay, good. So they've we've still got some spare food. We just need to build this house. And nobody is... Is that stone he's carrying? Okay, he's got stone. Drop it at the house so the builders can start building. There we go. Okay, builders, what are you doing? Builder, maybe? Builder, yes, build the house. Okay, uh, reserve logs and firewood is low. Yeah, the firewood should be being uh, taken care of. We'll grab some more wood. lots of wood. Unfortunately we've got no food again. Everybody's stolen all the food. Oh, here comes some food. Leave that food in the barn for this new house and the family that needs it. Okay, we've got our house done maybe 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 okay house is finished but we had two people died of starvation or one of starvation I'm not sure what the other died of probably starvation and now we have a house that we don't need <laughs> okay what an ugly start what an ugly start the good news is we're gonna have an overabundance of food the bad news is uh I'm not going to be able to start the school anytime uh, soon, which I like starting early. Okay, so we have one labor, a child, two seven-year-old children are our next uh, grown-ups. Oh, there's an eight-year-old, eight-year-old male. Oh, this is going to be ugly too. Eight-year-old male. Okay, there's a seven-year-old female, and a fe okay, we have a, at least one of each, so we have a pairing to. To, and there's a unattached female uh, so we have three female and one male right now they essentially okay this is going to be uh, extremely slow start it looks like let's take one builder away get the uh, keep the uh, these resources coming in locally we need a bunch of stone it looks like stone and wood oh, did somebody move it uh, woodcutter moved in by himself okay but there is food available and firewood available so he should be able to get it looks like he's got food nope go get the food while it's still there is that the woodcutter get back here that's the woodcutter get the food looks like he got food okay good Yeah, okay, that'll be enough to sustain him through the winter. That's all the food that is available right now. So now we need some of these, uh, okay, we got a, uh, another child born. Now we need some of these uh, children to, to become laborers. We'll get the fishing going. I'm going to need a blacksmith before too long. We'll keep one builder. Uh, one builder two gatherers. Once the fishing hut is done we'll add one fisher. And we'll leave the builder as is. They'll finish what roads there are and then become a general laborer. 
I'm gonna need more wood though. I've got wood being chopped down, designated to chop down, so I can't afford a forester right now. I don't have enough laborers. So we'll leave things go. Status quo for now. Hopefully the uh, ca catchment area ensures we have a uh, decent uh, fishing crop here. We'll keep this open here and keep an eye on an annual harvest. Uh, so in about half a year they've pulled in about 500 food the ga two gatherers have. So next is probably got to be the blacksmith. Next labor that comes out I'll, after one, la one of the children grow up I'll build the blacksmith because we're going to run into a tool crunch before too long and then the next after that is probably the hunter's lodge we've got two children growing up uh, by oh, autumn of the second year it'll give us ten adults assuming nobody else dies off of hunger between now and then got plenty of space for them to move into I think we need to have a room for a male there Okay, why don't these two get together here <laughs> instead of being separately attached? Let's see, okay, male can go there, female can go there, so that'll work out. That will work out. We'll have five full families. Did the fisherman move there? Yes, they did. Good for him. Tool cutter or wood cutter is there. Builder is there. Builder really, builders and laborers can live anywhere. It's not a big deal. Okay, um... Where did I say I was going to eventually build my farms? Probably west across the river. Because that looks like all flat land over there. So that, that will be my farmland over there. Okay, we've got no wood. Let's prioritize this wood shopping area here. So that the laborers go over there that rather than chopping down the iron that we don't really need right now. So the builder should be... The roads are all done, so the builder should be a generic laborer as well now, too. So that gives us three laborers. Uh, let's see, Fisher Hut is okay. Caught six fish at the end of the year. Okay, so we've got food coming in, but going out right away too, we've got zero supply. Okay, do I need another food producer? Probably. Maybe I need to do that before I worry about tools. So the next uh, adult probably has to go into the food production. We'll see what it, we've got uh, two seasons before our next adult, I think. Eight, eight, nine, okay, no, summer. Summer, Rancisco, Rancisco will become an adult and enter the labor pool. So we've got three adults coming out. One for food and uh, one for a blacksmith, probably. Yeah, that Fisher Fisher Hut is doing uh, better than my last one, which was just on a river. Uh, is there a stockpile uh, that I can build for fish locally, that so he doesn't have to come all the way back? I can build a barn up there. That would be a bit of a waste, I think. No until I build a market. I'll probably build a market here in the center area. Um, maybe right here in the corner because the village is going to spread out to the south. So that would be a good place for a market, I guess. Okay, we are actually stockpiling food a little bit. Uh... He's got to travel a long way to get to the barn, those fisher folk do. Hmm. Maybe a road coming down here to the barn would help.
That'll help that out a little bit because uh, are you carrying fish here by any chance? No, you're picking up food is what you're doing. You're stealing all the food. 54 fish, so about a third of much as the uh, gatherers. So I guess the uh, next one goes into a gatherer rather than a fish fisher. The gatherers are a little bit more uh, productive early on. Uh, having the uh, the fish early on as a secondary food source improves happiness though too, so I'm going to keep some fish coming in. Okay, we've still got some trees, but it looks like they've stopped harvesting trees, haven't they? Get some more trees. Get some more lumber. We got plenty of firewood. That's good. And our okay. And our food is going up and back down, but it's going up in general. So that's good. We're balanced there. Uh, we should be getting another laborer here soon. Like I said laborer will go into food, which will be a gatherer. What's still left in the cart? Oh, we still got some coat tools and firewood in the cart. Okay. Once the last coats are gone, I'll probably deconstruct it because we're going to need that space for growing. And they'll take the resources out of it to the um, stockpile or to the barn in the case of, well, we'll wait till the tools are uh, on their way out too, I guess. Uh, blacksmith right here next to the barn would be perfect. Of course, with a barn here, we probably won't use this for uh, for the uh, um, bank barn. We'll move that. We'll put that somewhere else. We'll use that maybe for yeah. Certainly, okay, certainly we can build a mine in there somewhere. <laughs> we live in a real virtual world. Okay, welcome to the channel, by the way. Uh, I think uh might be new. I don't remember saying your name before. If so, welcome. Thanks for joining. As we get into year two and we've already had what half a two four five die off five of our initial population die off that's something I haven't had happen I don't think in any of my games the worst I've ever had happen was like one die off in year one so this is a bit of a novelty for me come on give me a second uh, adult here or another adult Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, one was during childbirth. Nothing we can do about that. Looks like we lost four in the first year. Um, this is uh, obviously banished. I'm using the Colonial Charter mod, which adds a, a ton of new buildings and uh, resources uh, to the game. So there's a new adult. Let's immediately add him to food production. Uh, gatherer. And you can see here in the uh, professions uh, panel, um, silk farmer, bootlegger, vintner, everything from here down I think is new. Um, miller, grove tender, glassmaker, weaver, all of these are new. Also up here the baker, the beekeeper, the chandler, dairy worker, distiller, uh, fire bundler are all new. Uh, everything below that are old. So there's, oh, looks to be about 20 new professions or so. Uh, a bunch of new crops, uh, herds to uh, to obtain, uh, animals to obtain, uh, new housing housing styles. Uh, it's got uh, the colonial house and colonial manor, which holds five and eight people respectively. Um, I need ropes before I can build those. I'm nowhere near uh, being able to build those yet. 
Okay, so I should have my builder as a uh, as a standard laborer right now as well. I'm still managing to stockpile a little bit of food. And that new adult should have moved in with... Really? Didn't move in with one of these? You've got a 10-year-old male over there. Move in with uh, Roland the Builder here. Funny name. Okay, and let's go ahead and start building the blacksmith because we're going to uh, want to ensure that we don't run out of tools and slow things down even more. So we'll build that there. And I'll probably uh, use this small area here, which isn't going to be good for much else, for a uh, iron, stockpi iron uh, stockpile. So that'll be the blacksmith. Next to go up will be the hunter. So this is going to be a uh, posted on YouTube. It'll be uh, run as a regular series, where I'll, I'll run... Uh, uh, two couple sessions a week maybe so if if, if you'd like uh, the the series if you like uh, uh, you happen to miss the live stream you can always catch it on my youtube channel and I'll tr run this uh, as far as I can take it I've had some rather big settlements in the past I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at the achievements and see which achievements uh, I need to uh, move toward. Okay, they've got most of the middle uh, emptied out as well, so we'll be able to build uh, several housing areas in here. Uh, maybe save a, like I said, we'll put the market probably here in this corner, uh, since the main village is going to grow out to the south, it looks like, and the farms will go off to the west which means I probably need to ensure that I have yeah okay that's not ideal hmm now this stockpile might eventually disappear oh wow that looked flat there but it isn't okay well maybe it'll go on this side of the now I'll worry about the road later. The bridge has got to go right around here to get across, so I'll worry about that road later. I'll build the bridge and then worry about the routing uh, around it. Uh, the mark, the the trade post will be here on uh, the uh, crook of the river as well. Okay, we've got plenty of logs, plenty of firewood. We've still a little shy on food, but there's food coming in. It looks like uh, the builder still hasn't moved out. Well. I'm going to have a family. Oh, okay. Uh, did we get another laborer? We did. Two more laborers. And one of them moved in here. So we've got an unattached male now. Um, gatherer, fisherman. Okay, I'm going to try to force this issue. I'm going to take away a gatherer and add a fisherman and see if I can. change these here to get these two together Let's see who became my fisherman here Kalaya well that didn't work out too well well I'll just have to wait until they naturally pair up uh, I haven't had that issue before Okay, so now we, we're waiting for more children. Okay, there's another child about ready to become an adult, it looks like, a laborer uh, in the autumn. So we have one more this year. And that's it for a while, then. We've got till winter of next year for before the next batch of children uh, become laborers. So we're looking at year five before I get my school going, probably. Okay, they're still carting stuff over here. We don't have near enough stone to build that blacksmith. I better grab some.
We've got plenty of iron. This whole area was filled with iron, so we got plenty of iron. Blacksmith will not run out of uh, materials. We've got plenty of lumber as well. And we're out of tools. Um, time to prioritize this. Again, until they get all the uh, stone harvested, we still need uh, 27 stone harvested. Um, but nobody is out of tools yet. We're just going to be... Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think you can actually rename the, uh, the uh, citizens here. Yeah, no way to rename them. Uh, center, yeah, no, na no need to, re that, that would be fun if you could. Would certainly make some things easier. How's our uh, food going? Ton of fish coming in. 240, 440, 540, 600, eight, almost 800 food so far this year, and we're just over halfway through the year. That should be enough food for a settlement of 13 people, you would think. But we only have 24 in reserve right now, so... And we're starting to get that blacksmith uh, materials together here. So I really enjoyed this when it first came out. and They've made a lot of improvements, and I think with the mods it's going to be that much more fun. So many more things to do in this mod alone. I almost downloaded the terrain mod as well. There was uh, one that added volcanoes and swamps and uh, flooded areas to the game and also made a huge map available. If this settlement somehow falters, then maybe I'll do that. What is this? Uh, reserve of stone is low. Yeah, we know that. We've got stone being selected to be harvested, so need 40 more stone and half of that iron that we've got. Oh no, we've got 130 iron uh, reserved right, or, or harvested right now. This whole area was filled with iron, so we've got plenty of ground iron. And there's more to get, so I don't have to worry about building a mine anytime soon. Plenty of stone and iron here are still for the picking just in my local area. Wood is going to become an issue at some point. Uh, I'm going to have to get a forester's hut going as well, but good grief. I don't have enough laborers right now. Um, we had another laborer grow up. We have four laborers plus the builder. Ten-year-old laborer. Okay, that one paired up finally. Builder. We still have a male-female that aren't pairing up. Two, two males and a female and they're not pairing up. Okay, nothing we can do about that shy of tearing down at a house and hoping they went where I wanted them to. I'm not going to bother trying that. What do we have left in the heart? We still have three coats in the in the um, cart, so I'm not going to worry about that. We need to get the tools going, though, because we're going to run out of tools, and that's much more critical than running out of coats. Uh, what should be next? I think I said the Hunter's Lodge was going to be next, however, so let's go ahead and get and we'll wait till the materials are here at least and the builder's busy. Then we'll start the uh, building of the uh, Hunter's Lodge. We still have a ton of stone needed to just to finish off what we have here. So, Oh, they're starting to put wood up in the wood stockpile. I wonder if that means if I put stone, a stone stockpile, they would drop it off here rather than hauling it over there. I'm going to do just a very small stone only stockpile. Specialty stockpile for stone. A two space stockpile should be more than enough. Let's see if they drop the stone off here rather than um, run it back to the main stockpile. That will speed things up. They are. Good. Perfect. Perfect. And we can get rid of that stockpile later. Absolutely perfect. I love the specialty stockpiles. What I'll probably do is end up building an iron and wood. Well, we have a wood close by, an iron specialty stockpile uh, that can. Well, 
yeah, if I slowly harvest this iron, tools aren't all that critical to have the iron that close, I guess. I'm not going to bother with it. I'll have to find some something else to use this space for. A well would be good once we uh, get some of the uh, a, a larger settlement going. Okay, so the fisher hut pulled in 258 fish now. So we're at 500, 650, 850, 900, 1,050 food, and yeah, we're actually stockpiling food. So that is perfect. I think once I get the Hunter's Lodge done, however, I will end up pulling one fisherman out for a hunter so I can start stockpiling leather. What I do with that is uh, what I did in my last uh, run through is I have, until I have a much larger population, I have one villager that I alternate between tools and uh, once a year I turn on the uh, tailor for uh, coat production uh, because I'll harvest uh, 8 to 12 leather a year uh, turn on uh, the co uh, tailor for coat production just long enough for that leather to be used up and then turn that villager right back over to a blacksmith to keep the tool production up but until I have a larger population, um, that's how I'll, I'll do that. Since they don't get any bonuses for specializing in something, it would be different if you had a blacksmith and the longer he was a blacksmith, the more efficient he was at it. That would be neat, uh, but that's not part of the game, so it makes no sense to uh, tie up two people for tasks that they can only perform part-time through the year anyway. Okay, we still have a couple coats left over too. Okay, our builder should start over here soon. Uh, to hurry it along, I'm going to take one of the laborers away and build a second, uh, ha put a second builder there, and then I'm going to start the hunter's lodge next. And uh, ba -ba -ba, yeah, it's all forested area here, so we'll do that. get that road built. We're going to need more stone obviously so we'll have a couple builders we'll finish off of that. Once that's done I'll go back down to one builder and use that spare slot for the uh, blacksmith. Let's go ahead and get some more of this stone cleared up here. We got a little bit of stone here in the stockpile that's perfect. They don't have to run as far. There's a little bit of wood there as well. They're starting to clear that area. Good. So the hunter's being coming along. We still have a uh, single unattached people that aren't. Uh, maybe I. Well, I have enough food and f I have enough firewood. I don't know if I have enough food. Is that our first birth of the year? One. That it was our first birth of the year. Oh, we're growing so slowly. If these unattached couples would get together, we might be able to make more babies. What's wrong with you two? Am I overworking them? They don't have time to go to sleep? Okay, there's our... that was quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a blacksmith. Let's start making tools. We have wood, we have iron. Make tools. And just because, let's get that out of the way as well. So, we're down to two coats. Oh, they're putting fish in the cart. Oh, actually that's not bad, now that I think about it. It's less of a walk to the bar. The, to the barn. Maybe I'll leave the cart there for a while. Okay, so after the Hunter's Lodge, what is next? I'm not going to build the tailor right away. I like building up a store of at least uh, 20 leather, which takes a couple years. Uh, what is next? I don't think we have any labor coming for another, th what, three seasons? So autumn. Autumn for a laborer there. So we have two laborers coming in the autumn. 
assuming nobody dies between now and then, that will give us a little bit more uh, possibilities here. But what do we build after the Hunter's Lodge? We don't have anywhere near enough people and we have no reason to build a mine or a quarry right now. I might build the bridge. really not a good place to build the bridge here except for maybe right here not building it right now but I'm trying to figure out where that, that would take up way too much material guess right here's the best place to build the bridge so that's probably what we'll put there um, I'm not ready for a trader's dock yet either. It's probably going to be year four or year five before I hit that. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, we've got stone being harvested here. Uh, they're starting to bring the material. Oh, good. This is going along really nice here. And again, I'll take one off fisherman duty for the hunting duty. We have enough food in reserve that we can do that because the hunter is the slowest. The hunter gets a lot of food in mass, but it takes like two seasons to get that food and if I didn't need the hide for the coats I might bypass it all together until I had more uh, a higher population but I'm gonna need to get those coats here sooner rather than later happiness and health uh, I need an herbalist too don't I hmm bootleggers What do they actually do? They hang around in back alleys. I don't know what they actually do, so... I haven't uh, run more than an hour or so of this mod. And of course this was, you know, this was a freshly started game an hour ago, uh, half hour ago or whatever. So I'm not sure exactly what they do. What's the back alley do? Uh, town services? back alley a back alley where deals can be made and certain needs met is that another way to get resources uh, like a tr uh, trader maybe I can't do ropes anyway I need rope and uh, I'm not sure what that is candle candles maybe uh, it's a, it'll be a while before I can build those okay how's the hunter's lodge going it should be nearing completion maybe it's got oh no nope, still needs some logs am I out of log I'm out of wood I am out of wood uh, let's get some of the wood there it will be reforested once I build the foresters hut which won't happen until I have at least uh, six laborers and I still need uh, something else between I need the herbalist between now and then as well so we're talking looking at a couple years before so I almost wonder if I shouldn't get the t uh, the try to get some nomads early here I just don't know if I have the production to, to get them if I have a huge chunk of nomads come in uh, where is the town services I would have to build the uh, town hall if I remember correctly I have to build the town hall for that that's a huge chunk of materials to build which really isn't an issue the issue is that if I got four or five nomads I could handle it if I got 14 nomads there's no way I can sustain that population at this point I think I'll hold off on that I'm, I think I'm gonna I think there's an achievement for for getting a certain population with no nomads uh, so I think I'm gonna go for that achievement in this uh, run let's see fuel is good we don't have a herbal uh, herbalist yet, so can't do anything there. Do we have a builder? We have a builder, so uh, we still don't have all of the logs we need. Uh, hopefully, they're putting the logs here in the wood stockpile. Come on, yep, there we go. I was going to say, don't go all the way back to the main stockpile with the wood. We need some wood for the f wood cutter, but we're at our th uh, we're almost at our threshold there. What are you? You are the woodcutter. Do you have wood? No, you have stone. Why are you carrying stone? 
Oh, you're harvesting stuff. Okay. That's fine. Uh, hey, we've started our tool production. We have three tools. Uh, why? Oh, because you have no wood right now. Okay. More reason to get wood. Let's get this uh, wood next to the barn, too. So that should be all the wood we need here, maybe. Yep, we still need two more wood. Hey, winter of year two. We didn't lose anybody in year two. We lost four in year one. Yes, nobody in year two died. We survived year two. And we survived with a, an abundant uh, a surplus of food and firewood. I'll, I'll call that a success. Well, okay, I shouldn't because year two's not quite over. Come on, bring the last two wood there. Let's get the uh, hunting started. There it is. Okay, now the builder can go over there. We have till autumn to get our next two laborers. Oops, late freeze. It's early spring and it all of a sudden turned white. We had a late freeze. Okay, so with the hunter, we'll take one fisherman away for the hunting. Uh, we netted 430, 780, uh, 1,000, 1,500, 1,750 food we netted in that year. So, and that only left us with 128 surplus. Is that me, or are, 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 are the villagers here like greedy pigs? 13, 14 of them, 15 of them ate 1,030 food. Or 1,300 for whatever I said. Whole bunch of food. It seems like an awe. Of course, they are doing hard labor. I can't... I, I, I can't fault them. They are doing hard labor. I guess I am a bit of a slave driver here, aren't I? Okay, the Fisher Hut is going well. How is... Let's keep this up so I can see when it finishes and don't have to keep coming back to it. It won't take long. It only has takes 45 build points. So, looks like the tool maker is busy. We've got seven tools, so our tool's gone up. We still haven't used our last coat yet either, so that's good. So the the having the tailor this early isn't that big of an issue. I think the herbalist is next. Uh, try to keep the health up. Average health is four. Uh, I don't have the town hall yet, so I can't see any statistics. Looks like. Everybody's at a four. Nope, oh, three and a half. Three and a half. So yeah, I've got some health starting to slip a little bit on some of them. So who's the five bringing the health up? There's a four. There's a four. There's a four. There's a four. If we have a bunch of three and a halves and we have an average, uh, there's a four and a half. Hey. Four. Yep, Herbalist is next. The hunting cabin is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and take one off fishing duty now and move them over to hunting duty. Uh, we still got the unattached here. Roland. Agathy is the hunter now. Okay, we've got enough food. I could actually, let's see if we can force the issue here by building another house. We have enough surplus food and firewood that I can do this. Let's build a, a house right in the middle here and see if we can't get the hunter out and the gatherer out, that gatherer and, where's the hunter? that hunter into uh, into this house over here. 
So let's we can uh, add this to this uh, queue here and keep it tabs on when we get the leather. Of course, I'm not going to worry about the uh, tailor until I've got uh, some supply of uh, hides uh, of leather uh, stored up. Okay, so the herbalist is next. What after the herbalist? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we have two more laborers coming out here shortly. Uh, autumn, I think. Uh, if I'm lucky, I might be able to start the school in year four. I like getting that school started early and getting those educated laborers out, uh, educated workers out for the efficiency. Yes, food stockpiles and homes. So if I go, go to an individual house, I've got firewood and they've got 64 food there. This one has a whole bunch of food. And the problem sometimes is like this one has uh, 150 food. Okay, yeah, they've got four occupants there, but this one only has two occupants and it has 150 food. You'll find out that when I if I don't have a surplus of food in the barn when I build a new house, houses that start thinking they're running low go and grab the food when it gets put in the barn and it leaves houses that are trying to get food scrambling and and that's where you get some die-offs that's why I try to build a house only when I have surplus of food and firewood otherwise uh and I had 200 at the time and you can already see it's dropped down to 54 just since I started building that house um Hopefully nobody else is grabbing food from the barn right now, or at least not until some of the gatherers throw more food in the... Uh... Yeah. The other thing is is you want them working close to their job, so this gatherer here takes a good chunk of time to move to where they're working. And hey, <laughs> we, have, we have a virgin birth here. <laughs> what happened? How'd that happen? Somebody's having an affair with somebody or something. Well, okay. I guess it doesn't matter what, that they're not paired up. Somebody's uh, helping the uh, population process along there. But what I'm hoping is for a hunter, the hunter and the gatherer to move in here so they're close to where they work. So they don't, they'll have to spend a chunk of time traveling back and forth when they need to get warm. They're right here when they uh, when they need to get food. They're right here. So yeah, food and food and uh, uh, firewood stockpile. That's going to be our what fifth, sixth house. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be our sixth house, and we have six. Uh, we, uh come come autumn, we'll have six. Uh, adult couplings so hopefully they'll sort themselves out here so that will be finished momentarily and we'll see who moves in there I'm hoping that Rancisco the gatherer and where'd the hunter go Oop. okay so they tw switch jobs so you got the hunter and the builder here I'm hoping Rancisco at least moves over that would leave uh, a laborer free to move in as well. And there's another uh, nine-year-old coming out uh, into the labor pool here next season as well. Two nine-year-olds coming out into the labor pool next season. So let's hope for Francisco and uh, Macri. No, Agathy. Agath Agathali to move in here. And hope they switch prof the uh, Agathali switches profession maybe. Okay, house is done. We've got spare food and firewood. That's perfect. So whoever moves in there will be able to grab food and firewood right away. Francisco and Agathali, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so the herbalist is next. Uh, we have no wood, however. So let's grab a chunk of wood. I don't want to grab too much more wood here because I want to build a forester. 
Maybe the forester up here would be good to keep this area in trees. But that's going to be a couple buildings down the road, I think. Adoption. <laughs> Yeah, that could be, but except it wasn't an adoption, it was a newborn child. <laughs> okay, so the fishery's going to go down a little. Oh, hey, they're doing better on the hunting than in my last run. Uh, I wonder if it's the f fact he's an educated and that my last hunter might have been uneducated. Let's uh, go find our hunter here. Educated, so yeah, maybe... Uh, uh, I'll get a couple, I'll get 400 venison a year with one hunter, maybe. Okay, with uh, autumn comes two more laborers, so we'll be able to build the herbalist now. And the herbalist uh, basically harvests uh, herbs, uh, medicine for uh, the health of your villagers. And uh not sure who it is that joined. Uh welcome to the channel. Let's see if I can pull up a new list here. Control alt control alt delete. Love it. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Colonial Charter mod of Banished. And uh Gold Gold Stand, I don't think uh, I welcomed you either. Welcome to the channel. This is uh, the first session in what I hope to be an ongoing series, probably a couple sessions a week, um, which will be posted on YouTube as well. Um, this is going to be one of three things that I run fairly regularly. I've been running uh, Elite Dangerous, which is uh, going full production, uh, space, com uh, space sandbox, MMO sandbox, going full uh, release December 16th, um, and Europa Universalis. Uh, so those are the three things that I'm going to be streaming fairly regularly over the course of the next couple months. Let's see, we've got food, we've got firewood, we've got wood coming in. Looks like we're short on stone again. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. Some laborers coming out here soon. Got plenty of iron still. Our tool stockpile's growing. Now I have my tool stockpile set to 25. Once I reach 25 tools at this stage, that's two tools per citizen. Uh, tools will last a year or two each. So as long as I only have 12 adults, I don't need a huge stockpile of tools. Um, same thing with herbs. I don't need a huge stockpile of herbs. 50 herbs is more than enough. Uh, so those citizens that are running those professions, uh, same thing with the firewood, once it reaches its stockpile limit, those citizens become generic laborers. And there's our new laborers. So we will, uh, let's see, I got two new laborers. I'm going to put one into back into the fishing industry, and the second one will go into the herbalist once the herbalist is built. But uh, if you haven't seen this mod before, uh, it adds, let me count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, it looks like 21 new professions to the game, uh, uh, and a host of new buildings to go with those prof uh, professions, logs as low and stone as low, I've got those being harvested, no big deal. So 21 new professions, new buildings for the uh, all of those professions, um, new crops to to grow, new uh, cattle pasture types to um, grow as well. Uh, essentially doubles the size of the game as far as production capability. It's the only mod that I'm running right now. Uh, I did think about pulling another uh, mod down, but I didn't. Uh, you guys aren't making babies here. What's up with that? Well, you can't make babies. Uh, that's one of the new laborers, isn't it? Yes. Oh, father, father, son, fishing team. Okay, we got two adult male laborers. 
Okay, so I guess everybody's paired off that they can. We need some of the uh, children to grow up before we can get any more pairings here. Uh, looks like we're sh rather lopsided on the... Uh, Oh boy. Yeah, we're rather lopsided on the uh, male-female population uh, balance here. That could become an issue here in the near future. That could become a serious issue in the near future, especially since... Okay, there's a... Uh, some. Okay, there's a couple new babies this this year. It's still it's still early summer. It's still summer, late summer, so there's still time. Uh, so 200, 400, 600, 700, 800, 900, and we've got a thousand food so far this season. We're down to 36 in surp uh, in storage right now. We should get more, however. Uh, firewood is good. Herbalist uh, isn't done yet. Nope, they're still trying to get wood and stone over there. We'll keep that up there so we can keep an eye on it. Fortunately, we don't need a uh, We don't need a lot of wood right now because we're certainly not getting a lot. Okay, with the herbalist done, uh, do I go with the forester next? Or the tailor? I think I'm going to hold off on the forester for a little bit. I still have a, a chunk of trees here that I don't have a problem cutting down because I'm going to be growing in this area anyway. So I think I'm going to hold off on the forester. We'll do the tailor next. Get a good chunk of trees over there to be harvested. So the tailor will be the next uh, production building. Still have plenty of... Uh, don't have a lot of stone either, do we? Get some more stone stocked up. Uh, we need five more logs there on the uh, herbalist lot. And it looks like it's in route now, so the builder will be able to start building it. It's, it's another quick building, only t takes 45 build points. So uh, let's take a look. We've got one educated fisherman and one, oh, two educated, oh, nope, not educated. I was going to say, a child that's grew up and is educated? That doesn't make sense. Two educated laborers, probably. Yeah, two educated laborers. I really need a school to start educating the children, but I don't have enough children. And they're not, oh, there's a, there's a new child. Verly, 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 where are you? Oh, the uh, new couple, they got right bu uh, busy right away. Good. But Builder and Hunter. So the tailor is next. We've got uh, wood coming in. And the uh, the Builder lives right next to the uh, <laughs> where they're going to be doing the building. Good. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, happy getting something to eat. Not happy need something to improve their happiness and health. Well, that's what the herbalist is for. But their happiness is all low, isn't it? Oh, that one's happy. That one's happy. Okay, just a few of them have a low happiness, I guess. Uh, ver variety of foodstuffs help, help happiness. Uh, and then alcohol and some other things. Tobacco might do that as well. Uh, but I'm not anywhere near ready to start those uh, industries yet. Get that open. Okay, halfway through the building of the herbalist. And yeah, uh, for those that you can zoom in and out on these, obviously. Uh, I haven't been doing it. I t tend to keep out at a somewhat of a distance so I can see a few things going on at once. Uh, Hunter, still only the six leather and two uh, venison. Yeah, the tailor will be next. Uh, when's my next laborer coming out of production? Out of production, whatever. 
two seasons. So spring of next year is our next laborer, and that's when we'll we'll try to um, get the tailor in. We'll try to finish it up at springtime when that laborer um, becomes available. Um, of course, uh, whoa, where'd all our firewood go? All of a sudden it went from 70 to zero. How much firewood is stockpiled in the houses? Only eight there. Uh, we are going to run into a bit of a, only nine there. Eight there. Who stole all the firewood? We had a full 70 there a minute ago. 14. So This house stole all 71 firewood that was stockpiled, it looks like. That one's got 18. Well, we've got our, our woodcutter is busy, so they should be able to... Uh, maybe I should... Uh, what's my limit at? 60. Let's uh, change that to 75. And why did my Twitch just reset there? For some reason, my uh, Twitch just reset. Uh, oh, we had drop frames. Looks like I had some drop frames there. Hopefully, uh, you're all back with me. Not sure what's been going on the last couple of days. I've been getting drop frames uh, on on my side, so sorry about that. Um, not sure that I uh, we ha we did complete our herbalist, so we'll go ahead and get one busy. I don't need to keep that window open. So they'll collect up to 50 herbs, uh, and then the uh, that will help improve the health of my citizens. I'm gonna go ahead and start the uh, the tailor. Uh, we should be getting another batch of leather here soon. And we'll keep it right across there, uh, right next to where the stone is already stockpiled. Uh, takes uh, 48, and we have 38 stone right now. So we'll also go ahead and grab some more here. And we should still be chopping trees down. We Now we should have uh, three laborers. The builder is a laborer right now as well, so that's four laborers. And the blacksmith should be acting as a laborer. So we have five laborers right now. All of those people should be uh, acting as laborers. Did we only have one child born again this year? Verily? Oh, no, we had one in the spring, so we had oh, two in the spring. Okay, so three children born this year, that's good. Twelve, we're up to 18. How many did we start with? We started with 8 and 8. We started with 16 people. <laughs> We've gained a net of two people, having lost four in the first year. And uh, let's see. Who is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Welcome, anonymous viewer. Looks like uh, we got another... Somebody else uh, just joined. Welcome. Uh, reserve of logs is low. Well, I've got a bunch of trees selected, right? Or they've already cleared those trees. Let's grab another chunk of trees then. Need to... Uh, Oh, and there goes all our surplus food, too. Who just stole a whole bunch of food here? Uh, who's carrying food? I don't see anybody leaving the uh, barn. Leaving the fishing cart? No. Somebody just stole all our food. Nope. Oh, okay, we got more food and more firewood. Fire the wood choppers busy chopping wood, just not keeping up with the demand. With only a settlement of 18, I should not need more than wood, one woodcutter. Instead, I up my fuel supply limits to 75. Six houses, that's 
should be more than enough. Eventually, I'll upgrade to stone houses. Stone houses stay warmer longer, so they need less firewood in general. And of course, uh, a little bit later on beyond that, I can uh, mine for coal and use coal for uh, heating instead of uh, firewood. So there's a couple options. Uh, in fact, there's a new building too, uh, which I probably need rope for. Um, the bundling shed. Oh, actually, I don't need rope. At, at the bundling shed, organics are gathered and cut into usable bundles as fuel for fires. I'm not sure what they mean by organics, what they actually use. I mean, wood, what else? Things you grow, maybe? I don't know. Um, we're going to have to consider getting a trader's hut out, too. I just don't have enough people to actually build a farm if it, if if we got any seeds and of course I don't have enough stuff being produced to trade away anyway yet but that's something that we have to build relatively soon as well the only way to get uh, of course on hard difficulty you start with no seeds if you start on a different difficulty you might start with uh, an assortment of seeds that you can use to um, grow your colony right away you also start with more people in easier difficulty so The only thing that I could have made this harder was if, I, well, two ways. I could have made it a mountainous terrain, uh, and I could have made it harsh weather instead of uh, fair. Could have made it easier with mild weather. So the herbalist uh, is gathering herbs, but none of it's stored. The people are using the herbs as quickly as the herbalist gathering them at the moment. That will eventually uh, settle out that won't be the case for too much longer and we'll start seeing the herb stockpile our food is stockpiling again so we just hit that uh, hump where somebody came and grabbed a huge couple people maybe came and grabbed a huge chunk of food all at once same thing with the firewood we saw that one house grabbed 71 at once it looked like they're down to 58 so they've used 13 of the 71 that they grabbed to get through autumn and winter so they're not using all that much. But we're still having to... Ch oh, we're out of logs, too. Uh, we've got wood being chopped. Yeah, there's still wood in here designated for chopping. Uh, I think I'll designate a little bit out here for chopping, too, and they can add it to that stockpile. Uh, in the meantime, we're at 27 tools, so the blacksmith is at its his production quota. As long as we remain above 25, that blacksmith won't do any more uh, tool making. And again, this is where I swap between uh, the, the blacksmith between blacksmithing, making tools, and making coats. Once the uh, tailor is, is built, I'll swap that profession back and forth. And I think come spring we get the uh, a new laborer as well, so that'll help us uh, keep up with our, our production. I'm going to have to get a forester, I think, pretty soon. I was thinking about holding off, but I don't have enough wood right now. Okay, there's some medicine stored up good amount of food. The firewood still is not keeping up. Of course, we are in the winter, so people are, are using firewood and burning it. Once uh, the winter is over, that firewood will stockpile as well. And we've got some logs being harvested over here and stockpiled over there. We've got some stone here. We still need uh, 18 logs for the uh, tailor as well. Year three. We didn't lose anybody in year three. Oh, we got a new laborer now. Really? I thought I figured out maybe it was mid-season when I last checked. Yeah, he's 10 years old. They, uh, until you build the school, uh, children become adults laborers at age 10. Once you build the school, children become students at age 10, and then they become educated adults sometime between age 17 and 21 usually. I've had some students go to school as high, as late as age 23. 
uh, which is never ideal, but not, not much you can do about it. I think the only thing affecting that, I used to think that the thing affecting that was distance between the, uh, the home and the school, but I had two children in the same house uh, at one point. One graduated, graduated at age seven, uh, 18, I think it was, and the other graduated at age 23. So they're traveling the same distance to and from school. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure that that is part of the equation. Some children are just smarter than others or something. I don't know. Genetic, maybe genetics, I don't know. We got a new child. That's our first, uh, second, third, four, four children this year. Hey, we're moving up. We have 19 people in our colony now. Okay, uh, we've got one, two, we don't have any uh, adult females at the moment, so it doesn't help us to... Um, build another house right now so I'm not going to it'll just deplete our food and firewood our food is stockpiling fairly well our firewood is still having an issue but that's mainly because I don't have any logs right now people aren't harvesting logs quick enough and of course some of the logs that are being harvested are going to that tailor right now which is almost completed so 